Back in 1864 in the Coombe Hotel, where I'm staying tonight... Hi, Hello. How are you? Chris, welcome. A group of British tourists were persuaded to stay on for the winter, and winter sports in the Alps began. A relic of that pioneering spirit lives on at a very exclusive club, which I'm hoping today I might be allowed to join. Just want to make sure the old standards and traditions of the St Moritz Toboggan Club are being carefully observed. <laughs> Private members only, of course. Founded in 1887, the SMTC is home to this legendary downhill ice track. Built every year from scratch, the heart-stopping Cresta Run. This is where the sports of bobsledding and tobogganing first began. Today, they mainly go for the head-first approach, reaching speeds of up to 80 miles an hour. Most tricky of the 10 turns is the notorious shuttlecock. Come flying off here and you're awarded a special tie and probably a trip to hospital. Why do people do it? What, what is the great attraction? <clears throat> Because um, to me there is a hint of madness about it. I think you probably need to be slightly mad uh, to do it, um, but it's the exhilaration, it's the thrill, uh, it's incredibly fast. And if you're close to the ice, you're a couple of inches from the ice and uh, you're on your own steam, on your tummy, head first, and uh, it, it's exhilarating. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, it's, no, quite, quite fast. It looks terrifying. It's a risky sport, isn't it? We can't deny it's inherently risky. What are the worst sort of things you've done? Uh, the first thing I did was on my third run, I broke my sternum and I've broken fingers, I've damaged my uh, long thoracic nerve, radial nerve, from head to, head to toe, almost literally, but I'm, I'm here to You so. still keep coming. Please. Gary's always on the lookout for fresh blood. Doing the crest to run looks about as appealing to me as falling off a cliff. But he's a very persuasive man. 